What's up, MPX addicts? This is Jay Williams, your hashtag certified mark, and this was just first off. Here's my co-host. Just finally it, tonight was. I'm sorry. Tonight has just been too, just too much. Can I introduce my damn name yet? Do it. The voice of the. It's you. You ruined it. You yeah, just sorry, Kyle Smith, the voice of the MPX addicts, and just tonight. Well, let's just say that tonight was a history-making night for Metroplex Wrestling, for Texas Wrestling. I we mean, got if, to see... If anybody listens to us, we've been saying that for three weeks now. Yeah, true. Very true. I mean, this, you know? We've said that today was going to be the biggest Purple Rain in the four years that they've been doing it, yep. and we, we, we were wrong. Yeah. We were not wrong at no, all. No, we weren't. We said every card on this match could be match of the night, and it very well could have been. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's Even, only one match of the night, and we will reveal that later. Oh, yeah. But, Every match on this card could have been matching the night. I just, I can't even, oh. But you know what? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, it's Saturday night. A break for the wicked on the weekend. Mama, can I get another amen? Oh, oh, it's Saturday night. Swear to God, I ain't never gonna repent. Mama, can I get another amen? MPX Addicts, if you watched our live post show on Saturday night, then well, you got to hear about the first match already, and it was it was a, it was a good match. I mean, you know, I mean, yeah. despite the outcome, I thought it was a good match. But the second the outcome match, is what should have happened. The second match, oh geez, let's see. Hmm. Uh, so Mainline's not going to get a recap of the first match? No, nah, no, nah, we're gloss gonna, right over it. Well, that way they can go watch it on Facebook. Kiefer won, the sheriff won, that's all you need to know. Yeah, whatever. But the second match, we got to see something that has been building for months. We got to see Big Fitz and his team take on Prince Mahali and his team. And these two teams, well, at least Mahali and Fitz, have been going after each other for a while. I mean, it's like we said, it was the war to settle the score. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Prince Mahali with his infected dog man person, Tristan Thorne. Tristan Thorne. Then you had, you know, Marcus Rose, and then you had the Kingsman Michael the Schaefer Kingsman, making his return, which... In rare form, I might yeah. add. No, he looked in good shape. He really He's, did, and he, he was took ready his to quit, go. He took his quitting, and, you know, he, he made something of it. Oh, yeah, definitely. But, you know, yeah. Big Fitz had a great team himself. Yeah. He had Baby D. He had Machiko returning once, fi once Finally, again. Finally. It's been Finally. way too long. And he had Magnum out looking to get revenge for his good buddy Richter 5 and well it's I don't know it's did you would you say that this ended right I would or, say Big Fitz got his revenge he, he did, did. Uh, he planted Prince Molly oh, go to the watch. network watch that power bomb oh, that man. F bomb Ooh. that hurt explosive he, he got his wrench Molly but then however we saw what you, we saw what Schaefer had been doing in his, you know, oh, yeah. quitting season. How easily did he pick up Big Fitz, one he of the biggest him guys? Up with ease. Yeah, one of the biggest guys here at Metroplex Wrestling, and he picked him up like he was nothing. Yep. Spun him around for that umbrella bomb and completely just planted him. I mean, and so yeah, we could maybe see Fisher versus Fitz. Who knows? That could be brewing, but I mean... Fitz could be looking for revenge. I mean, Fitz did get one revenge already. Is he really that type of guy who's going to get another revenge? Yeah, maybe. Is he going to hold grudges? Is that like his thing now? I, mean, I have said, you know, military men are bullies. So oh, jeez. Is that his thing Well, now? That's, uh, that's entirely you. But, you know, either way, congratulations, Fitz, for getting your revenge. But I guess you just... No, no. Congratulations to side. Schaefer for winning the match. That's what matters. Yeah. Schaefer came back with a vengeance. He did what he wanted to do. He's here to pretty much take over and reclaim MPX as his own. For the next match, we got to see just justice truly served, in my opinion, as Tyler Jett 
finally achieved the goal he has been trying to achieve for the past month. He got his best friend back as he took on the pack by himself, which was an insane enough prospect on its own. He did, but again, we never really saw the bear and the rabbit get involved. True, but I mean, well, so did he did he beat the pack? He only, I mean, come on, anybody can bear, beat Sapo. The bear and Brock. seemed like he was, you know, well, <laughs> Sapo especially. I mean, anyone can beat Sapo. The so. bear seemed to be, you know, calling the shots, and even at the end, it it's almost looked thing. looked like you know the pack was still going to get one over, whether Tyler Jet won or not, as oh. he got the entire pack to you know basically just wail on Tyler Jet. Yeah. After the bell rang. And it wasn't until the end when he gave his stick. It's a cricket bat, I think. I don't, I don't know. As he gave his walking stick to Dmitry Alexandrov to basically end Tyler Jett right there. Dmitry couldn't do it. Well, he no, had come we, to his senses. We saw what we've been saying all along. Tyler needed to knock some sense into his friend. Yeah, true. He needed to knock out the re-education. Mm-hmm. Needed to knock out that, you know. Uh, uh, oh, um, education. You see, I was, you know, conscious of everything going on, and I heard someone a few weeks ago call me a communist. What? Wait, 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 you know my mouth gets me in trouble. Oh, absolutely. You're supposed to help. You're supposed to help. Oh, what that. could I do? You edit the stuff. Yeah. Couldn't you censor it? I know. I know you sent it to him personally. No, no, no. You censoring took it, that. Censoring it would be true communism. You took that and clip stuff. and sent it to him directly. That's what you wanted. This is as bad as when you call Big Fitz a Marine. And Marines now are better. I thought he would take it as a compliment. <sighs> He's going to kill you one of these days. Who isn't going to kill me? Uh, either way, Tyler Jett got Dmitry Alexandrov back. And in the best news of all, we have their bear fighter once again. He's not a communist. Hey, you know, you keep saying that you you can mouth off all you want, and I keep telling you, you're going to get us in trouble. You're going to get you in trouble. And, well, well, it came home to roost. Hey, he smells wonderful, so that was good. You are so weird. But either way, after that, we had an incredible tag team championship match as the Lost Boys defended their tag team titles against the Impact players of Dave Sagan. Hail, Hail Sagan. Sagan. And the Tommy Becker. Love the, the Becker. Becker. And yeah, you're learning. Okay, well, you know. Yeah. But either way, this was, oh, wow, this match was pretty incredible. I mean, both teams, oh, well, the Lost Boys came out with new gear for one. Yeah. It, looking more and more like they're. Um, the Crips a unit. Yeah, uh, they, truly they are. They came out, looked like Hardakis. I mean, the gear. I mean, we saw the beautiful XV for the Scott. Mask. I mean, Sky actually looked sharp. He wasn't in here in a pair of jeans like he just came off the street. Yeah, They've true. taken Sky in and made him look presentable. He is one of the Crips now. He is, the Lost Boys are truly a part of that yeah. family. And it's, oh, jeez, it's creepy. Well, I mean, what's going to happen next? But either way, it didn't work out quite so well for them. New duds and all. No. Still, who came out? The new MPX Tag Team Champions. So, so good. good. And the impact players. Like we've said, the impact players, they are dominant. Oh, it absolutely. doesn't matter what type of two you get out of that trio. Mm-hmm. They dominate. Mm-hmm. And they did it without Jamie. True. They did it without interference. Mm-hmm. They did it with Isaac sitting there trying to cause all sorts of mayhem. Yeah. I mean, they hit that modified 4K beautifully. Oh, jeez. Their, their own 4K is almost, you know, they really need to find something for the three of them called the 8K. No? No. You're hopeless. Either way, it was a fantastic match, and we have new MPX Tag Team Champions, and, well... We do, but is that going to be the end of this? I I I honestly don't don't think think so. so. We're going to get a lot more. Yep.
And then we had, well, uh, actually, you may want to pop your ears for this one because I know you don't want to talk about this. We had the Red Rain match of the Magnificent Malico taking oh. on Wesley Crane, taking on Richter in his full uh, Fat Samoan gear. It just, yes. it was great to have Epi the Fat Samoan back for one night only. I mean, yeah, we got Richter of old. It was great to see mm. just, is it, is it past? I mean, I hope not. I mean, personally, I hope not. But, you know, all th good things do come to an end. I mean, we've and seen these... some of the things he's done before. Can yeah. He keep, I mean, I just I don't think he can hang. I'm sorry. I love mm. Richter, but I just we we do love oh. Richter. But I don't know it, that the glorified, the glorious career mm -hmm. of Richter 5-0 may be coming to a close but yeah. he gave it his all yes, tonight i mean he even brought out a glove covered in legos for the butt punch and it looked devastating have you ever stepped on a lego i have imagine you get I one have. rammed right up oh, there oh geez that had to hurt i mean but you know what in the end who was it that came out on top uh wesley yeah wesley wesley uh, no. Don't don't see we'll end the video right here because Wesley won. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you don't want to admit it, but unfortunately the magnificent Malico was the winner of this match. It was his match to begin with, so I guess it only makes sense. We're supposed to be clown free here at MPX. Oh, Who let him like in the building? Be, it doesn't look like we're gonna be clown free anytime soon here at MPX. The match was brutal, the match was bloody, the match was magnificent. Can't sleep, clown will eat me. Can't sleep. Clown will eat me. And then after the security cleaned up the ring, and there was a lot of cleaning to do, we got a six-man tag team that I was really kind of hoping would turn out differently than it did. We got to see the new Dot Mob taking on Menage a Trois. Try, try again. The no. fake Dot Mob. Oh, they are not a fake Dot That's Mob. That's the fake Dot Mob. They are not a fake Dot Mob. That I is don't, the fake Dot I don't care what you say. They are not a fake Dot Mob. They are the new generation of Dot Mob no. fight team. Fake Dot Mob. Uh, and anyways, they, Menage a Trois proved what happens when you step in to MPX, when you step into Menage a Trois' house. They was, got rid of the Dot Mob. Hopefully we'll never see them again. Because again, like I said, that's the fake no, Dot no. Mob. I want to I want to see more of this Dot Mob. The new oh, Dot no. Mob is more impressive. I, have, I mean, Riza, you know, she basically destroyed everybody that was in her way. It, had, it was when Tatum put her through a table. If that's she, how they had to stop If it. she destroyed everyone, wouldn't they be the winners? See, that's where you're wrong. They didn't. Menage a Trois did what they did. I told you, they had the experience. They've teamed longer because of this fake dot mob. Now, again, they, the Kenny, Riza, by themselves, wonderful. As this group, no. That's not good. Either way, Menage a Trois did pull out the win in the end. Exactly. And, well, I don't know. We'll, go, we'll see what happens from here. We'll never see dot mob in the MPX again. And then history was made. We got to see the MPX Addicts champion take on the MPX Prospect champion. That's not and, all we saw. Oh, yeah. We saw a brand new, M beautiful. Oh, that thing's gorgeous. MPX Addicts title, gorgeous. So, does this beat out uh, the NTPW championship to you? It does. That and as much go. as I love the new Texas Pro Championship, this new Addicts title is gorgeous. Oh, yes. Well, there you go. MPX once again back on top. I, I have said it all night. This is the best promotion. It is. People don't listen to me. Right. I don't know why. Well, well somebody does because apparently I got chewed out, so you know. Yeah, well, yeah. But either way, the match was incredible. I mean, BC tried to interfere and everything like that, but nothing. Just, eh. Oh. Did he really interfere? He did. I, I he don't did. think so. First of all, BC, he, he slipped, so you know. 
He had a little incident. He's he's kind of recouped from that. You know, he's a little embarrassed. I don't know what you're seeing. You need to get your eyes checked. But either way, it's, it, they brought out everything, all the guns. It was just, I, what could more th- could they have done? Well, I mean, it's like we said, these two men know each other mm-hmm. so well. Uh, the history between Kirby and Fisher goes back to pretty much the beginning of MPX. Oh, yes. And absolutely. to have it here at Purple Rain, the biggest show of the year, for the first ever Grand Slam championship, there's not a better way to really have this feud. I definitely didn't mm-hmm. end, that's for sure. Oh, definitely but, not. But, I mean... But- to this crown match. the Grand Slam champion. And who better than, I mean, technically Mr. Mayhem, Mr. So to speak, MPX himself. Exactly. Stephen, Stephen Kirby. Kirby. I just. It was, I honestly, I, I can't say enough good things about this match. No, I mean, this you match know, was as good. much as, as much as I was angry at Fisher for, you know, the underhandedness of what he's been doing the past few weeks, what he did tonight was he put it all on the line. He put everything out there, his heart on his sleeve, whole nine yards. And, Kirby did no less. As a matter of fact, he did wo- more, and that's why he is our new MPX Prospect Champion and still the MPX Addicts Champion. MPX's first ever Grand Slam Champion. Congratulations, Mr. Mayhem, Stephen Kirby. You know, if Frankie would praise the thermostat, that might actually helped him tonight. Yeah, might have. I mean, you know, it's kind of hot. She wants to go to the freaking bar. That's why I want to go to the bar. Oh, wait, we're at filming. And then, honestly, I love Ryan. I do too. You you know I love Ryan. Yeah, not as much as me, but yeah. I know. I I will. I will freely admit that. But and you know, I completely agree that he deserves the moniker, Mister Match of the Night. But tonight, I'm sorry to say, he was not. No. In the match of the night. And and we said it on NPX Radio. We said it on the Mm pre-show Facebook Live today. This match right here, the Fatal 4-Way, was going to be more than likely the match of the night. And Absolutely. Those four men didn't disappoint. Like we said, these are the four best wrestlers in the state of Texas. Absolutely. And we saw the past, they, present, and future together. And they did not disappoint. I mean, and it's not just us. Mm-hmm. Go back and watch on the NPX Network. Everyone in that building was on their feet screaming. That Absolutely. match, I've never heard that building any louder for any match. Oh. Jeez, with a capacity crowd like we had tonight, mm. there was just no, I couldn't hear anything. No. I mean, I, normally I, where I am, I can hear so much. I can hear Cody and Tyler mm-hmm. whole nine yards, but tonight, no, I couldn't hear anything. I mean, anything. we went from Jackson Chance mm-hmm. to Chandler Chance mm-hmm. to Dalton Chance Absolutely. to Moonshine Chance. And it was just. To Carl Chance. I mean, everyone oh, got yeah, Chance. Yeah. All these guys. I mean, all these guys like got Chance. Some, yeah. Uh, what's up, guys? Yeah, hey. it was actually not a damn it, Carl, either. Yeah, no. It was match of the night. Yeah. And you were there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was Fatal 4 was amazing. I mean, you like I said, you had the four best in Texas. You had oh, yeah. one of the best referees in Texas. Yeah, I, I mean, which, uh, Anthony was, you know. Well, I said one up. Oh. It's one A and one B, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so. Actually, it's one A and one C. One Anthony, one Carl. Did y'all have fun? Oh, absolutely. Uh, of course. Okay. I mean, yeah. 
this show, hands down, I mean, mm. this match alone was worth the price of admission. It, yeah. I mean, this this would have been the main event. This would have been, it's like, you can only imagine with how this ended, you know, Andy Dalton pulling out the win. Yep. And it could have gone any way. No, yeah. It really could have. It really could have. All four of those I men gave it to Raw. Oh, yeah. yeah. There was oh, a couple, you had to move pretty quick. Uh-huh. Yeah. That is the quickest I've seen you move, and I've seen you duck out of the way when people are you know, know, running at you. Over Chandler. <laughs> like, from my knees. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that I could do that. I thought I was going to kill Chandler. It's been yeah. a while since you've done that, hasn't it? Really has Luckily, you've got the background to be able to do that kind of thing in the first place. I do? So. <laughs> really? Background? But yeah. I mean, that's the thing, like we said, this is the match of the night. Mm-hmm. These four men, and you got to think, Andy Dalton pulling the one out. That's got to put him in line for an MPX title. Oh, let's hope, and especially with, uh, well, mm, you know, no, no, that no. spoiler, spoilers. And then the main event. What should have been the match of the night, but I think, honestly, you know, even after that last one, everybody was just kind of tired, but they still had enough energy. They tried. Oh, that building was still very loud for it this was, match. I mean, was, you had the oh. demon of devastation, the challenger, Hard Dacus, taking on Mr. Match of the Night. Ryan Sorry, Remington. probably not tonight, but Ryan Remington still... Put on. Let's let's he be honest. On, let's be honest. If that four, if that four way was not there, yeah, this, this would have been match of, the match of the night, hands down. Mm-hmm. Because finally we got to see Ryan, you know, just work for that revenge that he had been mm-hmm. wanting. He knew that he was going to come in there. Oh. He knew that he wanted to hurt Hardakis, and unfortunately, I think that rage blinded him. I think it did a little bit. It was more of a tunnel vision where he just, he was so adamant and Mm -hmm. just wanting to beat Hardakis. And uh, he came close. He came closer than most men. He did. And I mean, let's put it this way. He was, yeah, Hardakis may have got the win, but Ryan still was able to walk out on his own feet. And Uh, I got to believe Ryan's not done. No, I don't think any of the impact players are done. I mean, they've taken the tag team championships from the lost boys and Hardakis has taken the MPX championship from Ryan Remington. So therefore there's no way that this war is done. This war is not done. And you got to think we didn't see Jamie Oliver. We haven't heard from Jamie. He's there was no info on Jamie. You got to think this definitely is not done. They're not finished. They still need to get revenge. And like I said, Jamie's got a plan. His yeah. plan probably didn't unveil tonight because Isaac threw the little wrench in there with the fireball last week. Yeah. So, but Jamie's going to come back. The impact players are going to come back in this war. This is just a battle. The Crypt may have won the battle, but they didn't win the war. No, definitely not. But I guess congratulations to the new MPX champion, the Demon of Devastation, Hardakis. Oh, Hardakis. Uh, before I was so rudely interrupted, you just got to wonder, now that Hardakis is the champion, now that the Impact players are the tag champions, what's going to happen next? Because we don't know what's going to happen next week. But either way, tonight, tonight was an incredible night. Tonight was the biggest night of the year, and it was just proven by the fact that we were at capacity crowd. They were. We sold out, and get this, we had information before we went on the air. Mm-hmm. They turned people away. That's how, big, first of all, why are you not buying your tickets in advance? Seriously. If you buy your tickets in advance, guess what? You're not getting turned away. Buy this your name is past, on the list. You're they saving money. You? This is simple, people. I don't, again, I just, I don't understand. People. Get your tickets now at mpxwrestling.com. It goes to the square page, and it just. It takes you there, and you can buy the tickets easy. I do it every month. Yeah, exactly. You buy your season pass. It saves you money. Mm -hmm. Say you even can't come to one of the shows. Guess what? You're still saving money. Mm -hmm. There's no point in them not buy your tickets early. And the more weekends there are in a month, the more money you save for these season Mm -hmm. passes. It's just, you know, it's pure math, folks. Simple economics. Mm -hmm. Hey, look. Economy sucks. Everyone wants to save money. This Mm -hmm. is the best way to save money. Absolutely. But make sure you check out Purple Rain if you missed it. If you were one of the unlucky dozen or so. 
who got turned Unlike, away at the door. Let's call it what it is. If you were one of the silly people who didn't buy your tickets early, guess what? Now you got to watch it online. You got to watch it at the MPX Network, which, hey, it's still good. Oh, yeah. But there's nothing experiencing wrestling live, and especially here oh, yes. at MPX. The best promotion in DF. No, 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 no. We, we always say best promotion in DF. Best promotion in, in Texas. Texas. And tonight, we more than proved it. And, well, yeah, check it out on the network, network network.mpxwrestling.com. But, of course, you can always check us out here on the main line at mpxmainline.com. It'll take you to our YouTube page. Or you can check out MPX Radio, in which we got a little more time, and so therefore go into a lot more depth. And uh, let me tell you, next week's probably going to be really long. Probably, and I mean, you you all want to hear me talk. I know you do. So therefore, seriously, MPX Radio every Thursday, wherever you listen to your podcast, Mm -hmm. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, mpxradio.com, all of that. We are part of the Offshoots Network, and we are so happy to be part of the Offshoots Network. So I haven't got us thrown off yet? Not yet. Okay. But check us out. Have seen our new stuff? Or does that not have anything to do with it? Uh, You know what? We're not connected with the Offshoots Network on those ones. So therefore, but either way... Check us out on Facebook. We've been doing a 30-day challenge for wrestling fans in which we answer a question a day throughout the month of August. We are currently halfway through the month. Have we got to the really bad thing I said that you said you're going to leave? Oh, not yet, but we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> see if you, you got to check again. In. Oh, <laughs> I have a feeling people are going to be mad at that one. Actually, uh, there's a couple things I said that people were going to be mad uh, at. Yeah, true. I, I mean, mean Fritz Marine? hasn't killed you yet. Well, Marines are better. How many times do I have to say oh, this? Oh, jeez. Okay, either way, remember... To chew the face, boo the heel, but always keep it kayfabe. See y'all in MPX every Saturday. It's where you should be. Mark out.